uh, international content advisory committee every year they have an annual event uh, till 2019 it was a physical event after uh, the lockdown they have not yet started physical events it's a virtual event this year it's happening between 29th of november to 1st of december and uh, of course over 63 countries are member of icac and so much um, work they are doing in um, africa and other countries basically focusing on research and statistics uh, sharing on uh, first hand basis and uh, what we foresee with them that through this uh, conference of icac let us put our front foot forward that what india is here to stand for what is happening in textiles in india we we understand our challenges but we are ready to even stand up and face those challenges this is what we want to portray and uh, this will be visualized by um, lakhs of viewers on the world cafe event of icac sanjay ji your views how can we improve sustainability in the textile supply chain first how do we actually define sustainability and how do we improve that msme segment which is a very large segment especially in india uh, will only go for sustainability yeah. when the government really takes a uh, clue and of course we need to balance the cost benefit analysis because we are a very uh, price elastic country our consumers we have seen it in the past how we have shifted from cotton to uh, blends or polyester over the last one one and a half years and of course the shift is getting more and more uh, strong uh, as lalit ji said cotton's uh, percentage is going to get less and less and this current uh, last year hike is definitely going to take cotton more on a put it on a back pedestal and still of course uh, uh, we'll still have uh, people uh, preferring cotton uh, of course will become a more elitist product and polyester and blends will go on so i think so we need to uh, the government needs to take a clue buyer has his limitations uh, it will be driven by how the consumer acts and reacts and of course it's going to be very location specific uh, developed countries will be much faster but the underdeveloped or developing countries from a buyer point of view is going to be very very slow so sir and just true true from good right now to better that is the way out and that is uh, the, the suggestion she sanjay jain md tt limited has uh, made he is the past president of city indra and tsc a very uh, renowned thought leader in textiles and here i invite the next speaker dr vinay kumar choudhury chairman uh, control union um dr bene ji traceability is an increasing the important factor but the textile value chain is long and complex how can it be simplified and made less less expensive nobody is as experienced as you are in the sustainability and the uh, and the organic um, cotton and textile front please help us uh, address this issue namaskar good afternoon everybody so it's a very good uh, discussion topic nowadays so i heard that uh, sustainability is growing up uh, but you know i have a one comment on the sustainability that uh, what india is going to face the challenge of over commitment so okay. sustainability as uh, all the participant told that there are different definitions but uh, as per the world definition which we are going towards the climate change or impact assessment which is the next future and this two word is a buzz word and india itself has lot of sustainability so i feel that sustainability should be talked about in real sense so when you uh, you talk about over committing sustainability then uh, the true price is not given for the work to be done then uh, there is a fraud in the system which get exposed so india should not over commit on sustainability because the true price is not given uh, for the what sustainable work is given so that uh, is one of the point i want to add uh, very to important point i i do agree with you and regarding traceability it's a very common buzzword i can say that fascinating word farm to fashion west to wealth lot of traceability you know more than 100 traceability beautiful software has come but india should be prepared to talk about sustainable because traceability comes with integrity now mm -hmm. so if traceability is coming uh, we can talk about various type of traceability one is blockchain which is coming on it platform that you know you give your traceability with informations so india was known uh, from the beginning to write everything from the our old days to write everything on paper and uh, we were known for that 
and that traceability has much integrity into place now just one question to all of you anyone or all of you can address is that audit fatigue is a real concern now we have been faced with uh, when audits all around us uh, 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 having started an industry from day one but now this compliance is an audit they not only come for 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 organic and sustainably uh, you know uh, sourcing companies but also for normal companies because this child labor and um, uh, uh, other thing compliances are not not only related to sustainable uh, sourcing of uh, fibers or materials so how do we address this issue what you raised uh, is multiple audits yes so multiplicity is the real fatigue causing factor right so there is a need for the people requiring this to sit together and see how much they can synchronize or make it common like literally every brand working wants its own audit they cover the same points but they don't accept each others certificates or reports certification so to say right so uh, now um, So, Rish, by coming to you, and the last question, all of you can have a one line or two line say on it. Going forward, what role do you see the ICAC playing in the global textile industry, the International Cotton Advisory Committee? Well, can they do anything better than they are doing right now to support the cotton consuming or cotton producing countries? I would like to comment. Before I comment on that, yes, it is. I would like to comment on the previous speaker. I admire Mr. Sanjay Jain that what he tells about uh, fatigue, audit fatigue. Uh, even ITMF has also thought in the similar direction. Now I remember that a common certificate is the solution. So we must push this idea of common certificate by combining various duplicated or uh, un unnecessary or repetitive. certification necessary and necessary should be earmarked so this is uh, the appreciation of this uh, audit fatigue a correct suggestion and then uh, what mr silveraj said is also right that we have to understand the innate position of our own farmer we and our own industry which is 80% msme so whatever we do is we have to think in terms of our context so that why i agree that any system we evolve has also to be india specific because of india a slightly somewhat different ethos a somewhat different scenario than other countries now coming to the icsc role i personally feel that icsc was started as a congregation of nations years back and now they are working on limited objective the addition to their objective was made by the addition of private sector advisory committee now private sector advisory committee has been giving various suggestion and out of that suggestion this cafe meeting has been is being held that cafe meeting uh, the present meeting is an invitation to collect the different views which are floating in the in various countries and make it commonly available so icsc has definitely been aware that they must expand their role much more than giving mere statistics or giving stock to use ratio so uh, the, the ambit of icsc needs to be revised so that now traceability i i agree with uh, sanjay ji that uh, what is the necessity of traceability now traceability necessity stems out of the consumerism which is taking shape in the world the consumers why with each other to find out some distinction of some kind that see what i am giving is uh, highly climate friendly highly sustainable so sustainable word 
is survival, but it has become a boot word, making it little confused and uh, in, uh, including so many things. So we have to simplify the things so that the progress can be made. And that's where I agree uh, that uh, we have to simplify as well, according to Mr. Jain says. But the raison d'etre is the consumerism for tracing. Uh, now, finally, ICAC today has excellent uh, papers on technology. Now, the technology papers of ICAC remain more on the, on the academics and it is not being used. I personally see that, am I audible? Suresh Bhai, ah. you are audible. Yeah, you are audible, sir. Absolutely audible. So now, so what we should do is, we should expand the role of technology adoption so that the cotton productivity and quality of the cotton improve so as to have substitute to uh, uh, to the man-made fiber. Today's meeting that can on this platform, we invite through the tag, the textile advisory group, can, can we have, uh, you know, send an invitation to ICAC, can they do something? What they have been uh, new, remarkably doing in African countries, can they do that in India? Suresh Bhai, um, uh, um, uh, Dr. Keshav Kranti just shared during the city conference, they were arrested at India about the founder country okay. in ICAC. We shall try. In the founder country, we are still facing the situation of yield uh, challenge and, and a production challenge right now. Can we have uh, you know something on the tag platform for ICAC? I think we have been given an opportunity to make ICAC to also to help us. I think definitely we will do that. And uh, uh, of course, uh, they, they, the global best practices, whatever we are getting, you know, they can publish like, you know, ITMF, they are coming out with uh, contamination survey. Same way, probably ICAC, even on quality front, they can come out with uh, some survey reports uh, on uh, fiber quality, productivity, uh, kind of a thing, uh, more, uh, some more technical details that will help each country to, you know, benchmark and improve themselves. Now, other than, you know, contamination or seed coats uh, or stickiness, uh, we don't have other, uh, any other, uh, you know, fiber parameters globally. We don't have. And, you know, even when we talk about the fiber quality parameters, uh, you know, we go by only what the mills are saying. And ICAC being a central organization, probably they can come out with uh, some quality uh, report also by getting the data from the different uh, countries so that it will help others also to progress well. So this is one more thing. Dr. 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 they do have a lot of data. They have data of every country. What we need to do is sync that with what, what can we, you know, what can help Correct. India do better. And mm. I think TAC platform, you know, once it comes, because it's a TAC platform also has the two ministries in place. And yes. then, you know, uh, you know, dissipating that to city CDRA or city or 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 the local associations here in India would be really remarkable. Let them choose a location Definitely. and then uh, we will choose them. But, uh, by and large, we appreciate, uh, you know, the excellent services provided by uh, ICAC, though there is uh, some more thing we may expect, but uh, really the data, the report, uh, you know, it uh, have been very highly reliable and helping the whole industry across the world to grow. So our compliments from Indian textile industry to ICAC, and uh, we highly appreciate the services provided by ICAC. Yeah. Uh, very insightful, actually, Mike. I thank ICAC for you know, putting up uh, these questions, this set of questions on the ICAC World Cafe, because World Cafe is one of the most sought after events. And this very relevant question answered upfront from across the globe will help us make a roadmap out of, uh, you know, finding sustainable solutions to this issue. It's like e commerce, yes. Eh, Everyone knows it's here to stay, but how to implement, how do we position ourselves and is only the brand entitled to do it or any other segment of the textile industry can explore and exploit this uh, opportunity. Sustainability, a very subjective word. Sustainability, again, a very subjective word. Would we here stand up and put a price to it? Would it really make any difference to the buyer? They pay 
is something extra so that the supplier complies with all the terms of sustainability and traceability because ultimately it's going to come down to the farmer. And now we should not get more into documentation rather than forget the whole process and the whole impact that it was entitled to you know, get uh, out of all the sustainable and organic cotton that we are doing. So that that was addressed today and I, I really appreciate that. Again, audit fatty. Can we have a common audit platform? So important because every company, every association, every country, every continent would like to have a, a, a certification of its own. Is it really possible? We are living in a global world now. E-commerce has no boundaries. So why should certification be such a big issue and such a big cost? Somebody has to pay for it or the people will start finding loopholes which we do not want to happen in, in the long run. And going ahead, yes, role of ICC. This has been discussed in detail during our discussion and I hope that uh, something very concrete comes out of it. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Yes, the, the, the challenges faced by SMEs in this new world has been brought up by multiple speakers, so that's going to be uh, an issue that we're surely going to have to put our, our collective minds on. I don't know if any of the table leaders, leaders were able to stay this late um, but if there are anybody, I don't see any other questions. If there, if any of the table leaders are present and want to say anything, please do so now. Otherwise, I think we'll just have to wrap up.